When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today, here on Banana Peppers, we are asking everybody's favorite question on everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? Today, we have something that you guys might have seen ads for on TikTok and Instagram Reels. That is where I saw these items, and they are meant to be magical water painting pins. This set was $15. I feel like this is something that I saw like kind of going viral a couple years ago on the internet where people were like drawing on plates with, I thought it was Sharpies, and then they added like water or like rubbing alcohol, I don't know, and the illustrations would kind of jump to life and move in the water. And I, for whatever reason, although I saw it thousands of times, I just never believed that that was like real. I never believed that that was like something you could possibly do. I don't know why that was just too fantastical of a concept for me to wrap my brain around. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like my brain is like scrambled. I'm gonna be honest. I woke up not that long ago and are you ever like in the middle of a nightmare? A nightmare? And your phone rings and it awakens you? And then I feel like it's just like so odd because I'm like really like what was the conclusion to that nightmare? Did I survive? I don't know. So now I feel like I'm just struggling talking today. So anyway, now I've seen like the whole like moving marker drawing thing, like that whole concept like remixed. And they're acting like not only can you make these illustrations, dunk them in the water, get them to move, but also you can turn them into temporary tattoos. And all you have to say to me is the word tattoo and I'm in. So yeah, needless to say, the listing that I did buy on Amazon for $15 was meant to be like magical water painting pens. And it does, it wasn't like an Amazon error. It does in fact say magical water painting pens. But <laughs> when I got this in the mail, they're actually just whiteboard markers. So I sincerely bet that you can get a set of I'm just guesstimating this is probably 12. You can get a set of 12 whiteboard markers for far less than $15, I'm imagining. Not only do you get the whiteboard markers, you also get this, which is like a ramen spoon. It's probably called something else. And it took me longer than I'd like to admit to realize what this is, you guys. It's a dry erase, like a whiteboard eraser. There are all of our beautiful markers. Also down here to prepare, I cut up some little strips of paper. Wouldn't it just be easier to just draw on your hand with the markers? Just cut out that middle step there. I don't know what the water would do to it. So we're gonna try two tattoos in two different ways. I'm just gonna try it, like they say, where you just fish the drawing out and stick it to your skin. And also, uh, I'm gonna try this version, because I cannot imagine, even if that does work and you just like stick it to your skin, like the first time you wash that area, like wouldn't it just wash? Like, I mean, that's supposed to be the magic of whiteboard markers is that they like wash away. So what I'm gonna try and do is use some of this skin primer. I don't know if this is gonna help us today or not, but if you guys remember a couple months ago, we tested out this awesome like tattoo printer machine and you had to use this skin priming spray to get those like inky tattoos to adhere well to your skin. If you used this, however, it would seal it in for about a day. It still doesn't last like forever because it's not a real tattoo. Are you ready? for some magical spoon illustrations. First of all, I'm a little skeptical about the quality of these pens. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do stick man first. And why am I struggling to draw a stick figure? It should not be that hard. Ooh high quality! I drew a circle. Let me go like that. Let's give him some little limbs. And like that. Oh, can I give him claws? I feel like that would be, yeah. Let's just stick man. Those are those little hands. I bet that's exactly why you clicked on YouTube today to see some stick figure drawings. Oh, focus on my stick figure. It's very important. Yes. High quality illustration. So now I guess I just dunk this in the water and it's gonna... 
Y'all, please help. Imagine my disappointment. This is why I did not expect this to work, which you guys saw the package. This is all I got in the mail from Amazon. There was no instructions. Nothing's happening here, you guys. They just say, prepare the spoon. And then they just show somebody rubbing it with a paper towel. Now there was another step that seemed kind of interesting where they said, pay attention to the direction. I don't know what that means. I don't know if maybe I was like, go, you know, because I like went back and forth with the marker. I don't know if I like filmed that step or if you guys could see that, but like I was like drawing the ink like back and forth to try and make the little stick man illustration, uh, you know, pop out more. So maybe that's where I went wrong. I don't know if like you're not supposed to go back and forth with the ink. You guys, I'm just gonna try and draw a simple circle. Although even then, the ink would be like overlapping on itself. You guys, my brain. So let's just draw a circle and not go over it more than once and pay attention to the direction. The direction of what? I don't know. Oh, you know what? They said um, wait three to 55 seconds. That's like a, a great variable of time three or 55 seconds that's like immediate or wait a minute it's been like 20 something seconds so that's right in the middle maybe they also kind of like did that a little bit i don't know y'all this is <gasps> oh oh my god maybe i have to like wiggle it but look that does not look cute now because it looks like it started to jump up i cannot get it to <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try something simple like just a number one. I feel like I should at least do the number two. Like what is the number one gonna show us? <gasps> Did anybody else go through like a phase in high school where they decided they wanted to change the whole aesthetic of their handwriting? Where you went from like all of a sudden making number twos like this, that sounds gross, to making number twos like this? <gasps> I used to make my number two as like the top. I don't know what kind of like flashback I'm having right now where I just like naturally wrote my two like that. Cause in high school I had a friend and she wrote all her twos like that. And I was like, this is how it is from now on. This number two just became my whole identity. Ah, let's try them. Maybe if I swing it around in the air. Ah. Guys, I originally had planned on filming another video today, but it's like kind of overcast. I'm so excited. I finally got all this stuff in the mail. It's a video I've been wanting to make forever where I was gonna take the Tesla out and give my Tesla like a Wish makeover. I got all of these cool things from Wish. They're finally here. One of them is an inflatable mattress for the back of the Tesla. And I'm like, oh my God, there's this magical parking lot that I like to go to. This is just a story time now, by the way. Um, magical parking lot that I like to go to. And I was like, oh my God, Dogman and I can totally go to the parking lot. I'm making this sound really weird. It's a parking lot, but it's like on the edge of like a lake. <laughs> That maybe makes more sense now. So um, I used to just go hang out here all the time. I feel like I filmed like some very old videos here forever ago. I was like, I'm gonna go. We can go blow up the mattress and have a mattress parking lot date. Y'all, that's like really my life taste. Like I cannot express enough where I'm like, first I can get a chili cheese dog from the Sonic and then we can have a date in a parking lot. And that is like my honest favorite things to do. So now that we're done with my romantic parking lot date story, I'm pretty sure that story took at least 55 seconds. Wish us luck. I was gonna say wish me luck, but this is an experience for everybody. Uh, so let me, if this does not work, then what? Uh, <gasps> Y'all, oh, it got stuck. Get off. Get out of there. Get off. Stop! Why is he getting stuck? It, it almost happened, you guys. This is honestly more frustrating than anything. I paid $15 to be annoyed by some dry erase markers. I was about to say, I don't understand how people are doing more complex drawings. And then in my head, complex drawings was filled in by little Christmas trees that I saw people drawing. I don't think that's a complex drawing. You know what? Let's use purple. I'm gonna try and just draw a circle, fill it in. You guys, I keep doing that thing today 
where I'm like talking and then cutting myself off because I'm just having like three thoughts in my head all at once. Because first I was thinking maybe I will try like just another circle. Something that maybe will start to float off of this and then not be so thin that it just collapses. And then I was starting to think, well, maybe since I've been sitting here for a while, the water isn't like warm enough slash cold enough. I mean, I, I filled this with like warm tap water because I was thinking, well, maybe it shouldn't be like hot water. Maybe it shouldn't be like cold water. I mean, I never saw anybody with like a bowl of ice cubes or anything like that. So yeah, I do not know what is going wrong here. I don't know why it started to work and then very quickly changed its mind. I think we're gonna try it again. Maybe I left it on the spoon too long because I was telling my story. Give me this magic purple dot. <gasps> oh, there we go. Why? Oh, I did it. <gasps> okay, don't, don't you go to the side now. Get away. Get away. Okay. <gasps> Did you guys see that? I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in. Look at the magic. Hollywood magic right there. Okay, um, now because I am skeptical if I will be able to get this to work again or not, I'm gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna give myself a magic purple circle, a magic purple sphere tattoo. Now, I also don't know why I think I can just dunk paper into the water and that that's gonna be good. Okay, uh, they act like once again, I can just go like that. Yeah? <gasps> Ooh! Okay, I did kind of pick it up and also I didn't like, oh, it's floating again. Okay, let's do that. <gasps> now we've made it even weirder. So let's go ahead and just stick it on our skin. Hi, can I zoom out now? Nope, that's in. There we go. Tattoo. This is all they do in the video, folks. And lift. Why am I shocked that this is all working? And it doesn't look bad either. It looks good. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look good. I'm definitely... I'm definitely making that up, but it does have like a glossy sheen to it because what I'm gonna do now is just draw on my hand, same color marker, right next to this. And I bet it's not gonna look like that, you know? I don't, right? Yeah, look, it is, it is different, right? See, it's like this almost has a transfer kind of texture where this looks like I just drew a W on my hand. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray like this area because you kind of have to like let this stuff, this tattoo transfer stuff stick on your skin for a little while before you do the tattoo. I forgot what this stuff smells like, but I feel like it smelled good. Why won't it spray? Hello, this should not be difficult, you guys. I'm struggling to spray a spray bottle today. How was that even humanly possible? Although I have not used this stuff in a few months now because I did a TikTok and then, ah, oh, there we go. Right, yeah, that was weird. It was like locked up or something, I don't know. Oh, it's sticky. Oh, all right, oh, that stuff does smell good. It's like a perfume. Okay, can I draw an alligator? Is it gonna come out good? Probably not. I feel like he needs an eye. Oh, look at that! If I was a braver person, I would try and like outline this. I'm gonna do it. Now, if this does not come off this spoon, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> you guys, I also looked down and like that tattoo spray has like made my skin like wrinkly. Look at that, y'all. No. See, I feel like I fail each time at pay attention to the direction. I also kind of feel like once you dunk it and it doesn't work, there's no second dunk because then it's almost like the water like somehow is probably just making it stick to the spoon even better i'm gonna try a jack-o-lantern so i did start drawing like that way first <gasps> there we go oh my gosh <gasps> look at that he's doing so good now i don't know why like the orange marker looks kind of clear where i first started the drawing so I guess that's definitely what they mean about, you know, pay attention to the direction 
I guess it only matters maybe like the starting point where you're gonna start lifting the design off of the spoon. Cause I definitely did wiggle the marker back and forth. I mean, if you're gonna draw a more like complex drawing, that's the only way that you're gonna be able to like do it is to obviously move the marker back and forth. I'm gonna take a new little piece of paper. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna try and just very quickly. Oh my gosh. <gasps> See, that's what I have not like perfected yet is not like causing the tattoo to pick up weirdly, but there on my skin, you guys can probably see that shiny weirdness. That is where the tattoo spray is. Look at that though. That really is cute. Okay, so I'm gonna spray, set it in because that's what you're supposed to do with this spray as well. All right. Oh no. Okay, that's a no. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys can just see it. Like that just made it disintegrate. So yeah, that is kind of sad because I just ruined it. Good luck to me. And let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, there it goes. It gets easier. <gasps> Oh my gosh, no, stay away from the side. Stay away from the side. This is kind of the tricky part. <gasps> Did I finally get it? Yay! Look, we only have this like one random stray <laughs> hair. Now let's press it on and I'm just like delicately pressing and it's not coming off this time. There, Woo! you really have to press. But it does look like a tattoo transfer. I mean, if you're somebody that can draw small and intricately with a whiteboard marker, and like I said, I mean, I feel like this would work with any whiteboard marker. I don't think that these have like special whiteboard marker technology. This one like really also feels like stuck to my skin. Like, look at that. I mean, neither of them are moving. That was our little sample with just the marker. But I mean, it really feels like it's stuck there. Like I was kind of wondering, actually, oh my God, you guys, I didn't notice. Like I'm obviously just, you know, going like that. And the plain dry erase marker did kind of just rub off. And the temporary tattoo whiteboard dunked in the water marker is still there. I'm gonna go just wash my hands normally with soap and water. And I'm kind of expecting maybe the jack-o-lantern to wash off because it has, you know, it's only been on there for a couple minutes. I'll be right back. I just washed my hands. Honestly, probably less vigorously than I normally do. And then I just like patted this hand dry because I could see that they pretty much were gone. Like I think like once you add water to it again, it seemed to just like lift off in large chunks. So I think it's just almost like water activating the tattoo again and it washes it right off your hands. Honestly, you guys, I am impressed with this. It is like more fun than even I thought it would be. I'm glad we finally got it to work. Maybe there is like something you can do to make the tattoos like come off a little bit easier. Maybe like warmer water or something like that. I did kind of like get everything prepared before I started filming. So, you know, the water wasn't like as warm as when I first got it. So I don't know, maybe if you can just like do all of those things quicker than I did today, maybe the releasing process is a little bit easier. That's the only thing that's like kind of finicky is I feel like sometimes obviously as you guys saw today you can draw something like really cool and detailed and you're so excited to get that tattoo and then it just like won't free from the spoon. So there definitely is like some trial and error but overall I think it's fun. I just think it's a little like goofy like price point wise especially for like generic markers and a spoon. So yeah I mean even if you like have spoons like this in your house, they said that you can use glass, ceramic, or for whatever reason, I well, maybe this is, it doesn't feel like glass or ceramic. It feels like plastic, honestly. So why you couldn't do this at home with a bowl, a white marker, and a plastic spoon? The people selling this on Amazon for $15 would probably say you can't do that, but you, Probably can. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited. I had already gotten done with like filming the entire video and I was trying to just like make some additional ones 
for the thumbnail and I started to get it to work so well. So it definitely just does take practice. And honestly, so I just tried to do the flying alligator again and I really got what I think is a pretty good one. And then I also was like literally having a brain fart after I washed my hand and I was, and I was like, look guys, it washes off. So obviously, I'm such a goofball because if you want it to last longer, just put it somewhere where you're not going to be washing your hands all day. You guys, sometimes, I swear, could have had a V8. I don't think of like the stupid way I phrase things until I'm done filming and then I come back and I'm like, why, why, why not just not the hand? where you wash probably more frequently than any other surface of your body. So I am gonna film some other videos today. So I'm gonna see how long these hang on, but I'm gonna assume nothing is gonna make them come off until I wash them off. Cause they do seem pretty durable, just like rubbing. I mean, I feel like I'm like rubbing so hard. I'm like giving myself a mark. So yeah, I feel like until you wash it with soap and water, it's not gonna come off. So if you want it to last, just don't put it somewhere you wash frequently. Anyway, you guys, as usual, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again. Bye.